Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Um, I'm going to be putting fish food and fish fins under the microscope. Here's my microscope. Alright, as you can see, I'll show you. Outside right there, I have an obstacle course built for my dog. So, this is tetramint under the microscope. This is a good, a good example. There it is, right there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to move on. We're going to move on to... Oh, where did I stick that fish fin? <laughs> we're going to do better bites, actually, right now. Uh, might be a little, a little easier here. So please don't put any of these things under the microscope. I'll tell you where I got my fish fins from. Um, I had a male better fish and a female better fish. I did not know that the male better fish was a male, and they went together and they teared each other up. So that's a better bite under there. For those of you who don't know what better bites are, this is a better bite. Alright, now I'm going to show you a goldfish scale. Alrighty. So we're gonna stick that under. Let me just uh, adjust it. There we go. Alright. Let's see here. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright. Uh I don't know where that little little scale was. I had um a better fish scale and um I don't know where it is right now. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> Here I'm going to try and zoom in with my small microscope. I'm going to see if you can possibly see the obstacle course a little better. Let's see if I can there we go. This little little light out there. Oof. I don't think you can see it. I'm sorry. Very sorry, actually. Okay. Um, I'm also going to do a DIY fish cave. I did an automatic fish uh, feeder. My automatic fish feeders are right here, actually. I just don't have their caps right now because I'm using the caps. Um, but I'll show you my DIY fish, uh, uh, DIY fish cave right now. Here it is, um, right there. I'm also dealing with ick in my tank, so not that good. I mean, my balloon belly mollies have it a little bit. My tetras have it extreme amount. Um, I'm, none of my barbs do, which is good, and none of my platies do, and no costumuses or anything do. This fell off last night from that plant. <laughs> And the one who got it, never buy fish from Walmart, and I know why people tell you that now. Because this little spotted puffer right here, Puff, he actually um, had ick. And now he's in his own little gallon tank right now. It's kind of heavy. Um, and he's just hanging out because I'm trying to treat him. I have some stress relief, ick, and other stuff in there. So please like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.